At this point, I can afford to lose that. I, I have no counter now, actually. Mm. I'm mostly building vampirism, but I, I really do like evasion. So I'm going to keep that. We're making progress towards the uh, boss appearance at the moment, which is a little bit frightening. Not gonna lie. Where can I place this? I could place this over here. Could even place it there, actually. I need some more items to build around it. What kind of stuff have we've got a lot of materials. I may want to head back sooner rather than later. Nah, that is in no way better than what we've already got. We are taking chunky damage, but Ooh, a ghost. That's the first time a ghost has popped up for us. 20% chance when anything dies for it to turn into a ghost. What just happened? Something went... Okay, we got an orb of expansion. Physical manifestation of expanding space in the form of a little sphere. What dictates that popping up? I'm not sure. Like, sincerely, I do not know. And I would like to know. Curious what a 3x3 of meadows would do, if anything. I don't think it does anything. I can check it for you, but uh, not right at this moment. But I don't believe it does anything. Um, sure. Abak, I also haven't figured out what causes that to pop up. It's quite a mystery, though. It could just honestly be random. Might be something to do with the amount of enemies I've... Oh, the first Gargoyle is showing up. There we go. Uh, probably nothing here of, of any particular worth to me, honestly. Hello, Gargoyle friend. Wow. I, I'm i sorry. I don't usually treat my friends like that. I, I, I don't know what came over me. Honestly, at this point, we're we're draining enough health to keep going for a while. I suspect. Now I just need to wait for enough material to be able to build that out, and we'll get another uh, vaults worth. Yeet us and delete us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Gogo friend got chonky damage, yeah. I like sure likes his chronode grows. I mean what's not to like, let's be honest. They're rather nice. Another chrono. Damn thing. Very damn thing. We'll see. And another chrono as well. Now, the cemetery is actually useful. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the vault. We have now got a lot of materials that I kind of want to take back and not lose. We'll see how we fare through this, but I'm feeling like not taking on the boss and instead just going home with our loot in hand. Depends a bit on what we, what we come up with here.
Let us feed Leaf in a little bit more. I mean, we've got a good build here. We are absorbing a lot of uh, of damage, but we're going to lose our Oblivions. Oh, look, look, that would be amazing as well. We've got a memory fragment. Rumors, myths, and someone's delusions. It will take weeks to understand it all, and it will take years to decide if you really need this. Ten fragments from a, form a complete book of memories. Yeah, at this point, if we place anything, unless we delete something, we're getting the boss. And we don't really want to. Crikey, that thing hits like a truck. 62 damage. Mind you, we're, we're actually not doing too bad. Notice that the forest doesn't eat that, though, which is amusing. Alright, that was kind of bonkers. Let's have a look at what we got. Invasion, counter, vampirism, regen, nothing we need. The shield, though, 17 defense, attack speed, not something we need. Evasion and counter, both nice, but I like that 11% vampirism. Yeah, we've become a bit of a bullet sponge here. Uh, something is pinging. It's when we were... Basically, uh, the same thing that's happening here. It was filling up and turning into metal scrap. This was filling up and turning into memory fragments. <sighs> All right. Okay. Mods, we need a poll. We need a poll. Should we fight the boss? Or should we uh, yeet out of here? I can probably plomp down. Uh, no poll. Yeet. <laughs> apparently, apparently Chad doesn't get a, get a choice. But Lila's like, nope. Leave. All right. Okay. 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 Uh... Belial has spoken. Belial has has used his executive veto. Chat doesn't get a get a say. Belial yeeted the poll. That he did, yes. Oh, look at another one. Honestly, at this point, I, does the oh this is a question. Does the boss increase due to um going round? to loops. See, this is how democracy dies. With the heat. Look, it increases on kills. Does it? I hadn't noticed it increasing on kills. Uh, I was asking if the boss boss um, spawn bar increases when you loop. It's a shame because it would have been wonderful to finish that book, but uh, oh well. Tonk. It is time for us to go home. We're retreating. Another success. You've returned. And we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So, technically, you remember that there are things you've forgotten. We should find a way to use that. 
Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to an alchemist. But they all need a place to work. But we can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone you've just found and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it when the fire with the fire you've made. The things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. So there we go. Alright, those actually accumulate, so we're not in too much of a rough spot with that. Time for the gymnasium. I really enjoy the, the time continuity in this. Blood alchemy. Sad, I was too slow with my backseat. Ava, while standing on the camp, you could have placed and filled the treasury. Oh, blood alchemy. Now that is a clever move. I'm going to give you a lot of credit for that one. That is, that is, that is cheeky. That's not just clever, that's cheeky. I approve. All right, uh, gymnasium, it shall be. Uh, does that have any specific build requirements? Uh, no, but uh, we're going to place it next to the camp. Hmm, so that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. <laughs> That's a nice trick. There's no in intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all gather together and share our useful knowledge and skills. <laughs> nah, I already know all that I need to. Leave the learning to the kids. Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. Man, playing someone who doesn't like learning? What the... This is awful. <sighs> That's it. Game over. Drop. Minus 10 out of 10. Do I have enough to upgrade? Ooh, I do. Supply the apple. The appraiser will be happy to identify all the strange things you find on the road and pass them on to the people who need them the most. Unlocks the supply feature. From now on, you will begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks the ability to craft items if you have the necessary buildings. And unlocks the ruins card. You need a lot of material. Pretty much everything for that one. Uh, we've also got the cemetery. A gloomy but necessary part of every village. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a piece of information. Can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Okay. Getting the herbless hut. The hands of the herbless always remember how to mix dried herbs and brew healing potions. Potions heal 4% of the max HP. You can take up to 3 potions with you. 2 potions are refilled at the camp. Unlocks the swamp card. The smithy requires more stuff, but let's have a look. Now, can that be upgraded? Yes, it can. Requires materials I don't yet have. How about this one? Oh, requ oh, requires two of these and a load of wood. But it would actually make it better for us moving around. Unlocks the town card. Okay. That's an awful lot of stuff, though. I think we're going to grab the Herbless Hut, though. 
Avex, see the refugee. I know that unlocks uh, that unlocks the rogue. Press boom. Hmm, town <laughs> town card sounds like food for harvest. <laughs> Here, townspeople, enjoy this beautiful vista. Right, uh, you you can see you're right at the foot of the mountain. That's beautiful. Uh, don't don't worry about the screeching. That's a I'm bad. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Uh, also, don't lock your windows at night, and um, don't be afraid to go out for midnight strolls. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um. Oh, blood alchemy is being naughty. Blood alchemy. You go in the sin bin for that one. Even though I already know, you did not know that I already knew. Thank goodness I played for six hours before, before I streamed, because the amount of people who've accidentally spoiled so many things that weren't actually spoilers, but they didn't know they weren't spoilers, they were just careless with their words. In the sin bin. In a 10 minute adventure, only it's not an adventure, you're in a jail. But it is still in, in and out in 10 minutes. Unless I decide to keep you there longer. I will decide later. I like to deployed the orbital bonk. No, 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 no. I like. Dapper snapped. It's like. It, it's exactly the same as a Thanos snap, only no one dies, and it only affects one person, so it's actually nothing like a Thanos snap. But it, it looks just as cool, I assure you. A snaprifice. Wow, I like that. We might go with that one in the future. We're gonna go to the herbalist hut though. I like potions. I cannot lie. They sound delicious. It's a miracle that we could find such fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. But the real miracle is that all these healing pulse uh, poultices and balms still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. And these potions can also help you take a bottle or two on your trip, and your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. How does that affect anything? Max Zaka, love you and what you do, Abbott. But I must now depart. Enjoy the rest of your stream all. Take care, mate. Enjoy, buddy. Seriously, though, I like I like Snaprifice. We're, we're going to have to roll with that one, Dapper Chat. It's going to be a snap sacrifice from now on. Effective improvement. Plus 2% to potions healing effect, so that'll be 6% uh, healing. And plus 2 potions to carry with you. That sounds remarkably good. In fact, that sounds more important to upgrade than this. Like, a lot more important, actually. Also, we can now get the farm. Or, or once we've got enough uh, material. Farmer's crops are always a welcome sight on the dinner table. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you one ration for every completed loop but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat fields. Sounds good. I thought it was always mine's fault. Um, no. No. No, it's always Lee Finn's fault. Especially when it's Noin's fault. Alright, we're going to switch up our cars. We've now actually got a lot more. Okay, so let's have a look at what these are then. Village. First they'll feed you, then they'll make you work. Heals 15 plus 5 times the loop. HP upon entering. 
and gives you a quest. Yes. And the swamp. The stench is murderous. Oh, maybe it's the poison. Spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here. Except for the potions. They're still on your side. Hmm. I don't think I've seen the swamp in any of the other streamers I've seen uh, of people playing this. Okay, well, we'll take the swamp then, but uh, it's probably going to be nasty. Uh, Alright. You know what? Should, should we do a bit more of a, a rough and tumble run? I think we should. Is there anything I want to drop? I really like the blood grove, though. But I kind of feel that maybe having the road lantern would be a wise one. I don't know. See, I'm wondering, because it says any, all healing. It makes a point, all healing effects are lethal here. A vampire, when it's in a fight, gives all creatures in that fight 10% vampirism. Possible cheeky synergy? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to science this. It must be done. Let's just go forth. It must be for science for science's sake. Uh, we've got potions now. Your trusted travel companion heals you by four percent HP when your life is in danger. The fewer you have, the more you cherish them. Oh, apparently Swamp is annoying but great with vampires, though. No interaction other than vampirism hurts them instead. Well, that's fantastic. I approve. Thunk. I've got a mountain. I'm going to keep wandering for a bit for now. There we go. Shield, don't care what you are. Wow, they're so weak. They only do like three damage at this point. What would be the second bar under health? Stamina, apparently. I don't know what it. Hang on a second. We we got. A, oh, you mean you? Ah, sorry. Yeah, I just read. Heroes health and experience points. Okay, now I've got something I actually want to start getting stuff out of. So we're gonna pop growth right there. I want the wood. Alec, you can put the game on two times speed if you want. I know I can. I turned her off two times speed at the start of the stream. Thank you for giving me permission, though. I appreciate that uh, I am allowed to put her on two times speed, should I wish. It makes me feel very, very safe. I could have these on the inside. I kind of like him on the outside, though. Not gonna lie. Continue on your way. I apologize in advance if any random crap I say turns out to be a spot. <laughs> no worries, Devil Fish. Accidents happen. Actually, I much prefer counter than attack speed. Initially, I wasn't sure about the fact that when you, like, place something on 
a piece of equipment, you don't swap it, you get rid of the old equipment. But it kind of makes sense within the context of the game and how you forget things. Oh, wow. Oh, well, well, well. All right. Now we are cooking with fire. Nine vampirism over counter, yes. I prefer the healing. Now we've got a battlefield. Once again, this can live right next to the start. Right now our vampirism is is not doing much for us because with such low level we're not doing much damage or indeed we don't have much vampirism frankly but uh increasing counter that's not too bad you know what sure i'll pop it on to uh higher moving speed for creeps there we go got a village first they'll feed you then they'll make you work Heals up to tw uh, 25 p uh, HP upon entering. Gives you a quest. A quest, eh? Let's pop it to there. We've got a quest! A marvelous. Oh, we'll keep our... Uh, cards for now. Oh my lord, I do see a little damage. But that shield looks nice. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'll drop two defense, but I gain so much more in return. And vampirism there as well. I, I will lose 3% vampirism, but 4 damage to all is actually kind of nice. So sure. And now up to 3 healing pots for having gone through the, the loop once. Oh my. Let's go ahead and place that there, and then following that, I'm going to place another town. Oh. Uh, a bandit camp. Masters of trading their poverty for someone else's life. Spawns a bandit on an adjacent tile every two days. Bandits prefer villages. Appears for every two village tiles. Okay. So much like the goblin camps, then. I wonder what would happen if the goblins and the bandits interacted, because the goblins also like uh, helping themselves to uh, people's belongings. Uh, better sword. Just straight up better. That's not going to be a better shield. Now. Look. Okay. We've got options here. I'm going to give in this quest, but then I'm going to show you how the Vampire Mansion interacts with uh, with villages. Now, because it's a quest goal, it has 200% more HP. Bonkers, you might say. You would be right. Yeah, quest done. Start singing. I'm a manpire, not a vampire. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Now then. We've got a quest for this slime for that village, but we've completed the quest for this village, but we need to hand the quest in first. 